Did you hear that, Mr. Owl? I think our friends are here. Hello, are you ready to begin? Today, I am wondering about more ways to classify objects. But before I get started, I'm going to pour myself a cup of tea and I'll meet you at my desk. Take a look at my pictures and tell your teacher what you see. I see people. Do you? I see animals. I see plants. Do you see shapes? Now, let's start by classifying people. Can you point to the people that you see in my cards? Oh, I see a girl and a boy and another little boy. Sorry. Let's look at animals. Can you point to the animals that you see? Oh, I see the tiger grasshopper. Is this a beetle? Oh, there's my owl. Another bird. I see lions. Look at all of these birds I see. Way over here. So I have people and animals. And what else can you find? Do you see things that we could eat? Here is a banana, strawberries, and my cherries. And how about plants? Can you find any plants? Oh, I see them right in the middle. And what's left that we haven't talked about yet? Shapes and patterns is right. Let's separate the shapes from the patterns. There you go. We just did it. That was pretty fun, don't you think? Now, I want you to focus on my animals. So let me slide my animals. Oh, dear. <laughs> Look what I forgot. My lemon. Is my lemon an animal? No, let's move them back to my food. There you go. Now let's look at my animal pictures. I have an awful lot of animals. Do you notice one type of animal more than another? Oh, did you say birds? That's what I thought. Let's put all of our birds together. Oh, an ant's not a bird, but my parrot is. Am I missing a bird? Yep, there is my owls. Now I have all of my birds together and all of my non-birds. Is there another way we can classify my animals? How about color? Tell your teacher what color you see the most of. Oh, to me, I see brown. So let's put all of our brown animals together. Here's a brown. My owls are brown. My lion is definitely brown. What do you think about my tiger? You can choose to either include him as brown or not brown. So now I have non-brown animals and brown animals. Do you see any other ways we can classify all of my cards together? Think about the color. Let's do colors. The first color I see is red. I see lots of red cards. Let's slide those together. I will slide them to the right side of my table. 
Let's start with the cardinal, the tulip, my rose. Tell your teacher what other cards are red. I see the cherries and the strawberry, oh, the triangle and the circles. Let's move all these aside. Now I have my red cards and my not red cards. Is there another way we can classify with our other colors? How about green? Here's a green grasshopper. I see more green down here. There. And there's one more color we haven't talked about yet. How about purple? I see my two purples were right next to each other. What about black? Can you find any cards that are mostly black? My aunt, this pattern, the stripes, and I would even say his black hair would work. Oh, do you see the colors that are left? I see yellow right away, do you? Let's put our yellows together. We can include that one in yellow or red if you want. And then what colors do you think these are? We talked about them before. Brown. Do you see how we used a simple memory game to practice classifying? And I bet you can even come up with more ways to practice classifying with just what you see here. Can you tell your teacher one other way that you see to classify my card? Day, I took my dog for a walk at the park and I couldn't believe all of the objects I saw that I could classify. So I brought some in to show you. Look at my objects and tell your teacher what you see. Can you tell your teacher a way to classify my objects? To start us off, I thought I could classify objects that fall from a tree and objects that don't. Which objects obviously can't fall from a tree? The rocks are right, so let's put our rocks together. And now, the objects I have can all fall from a tree. My pine cones definitely fall from trees. So do my branches. I found these on the ground. These seed pods fell from a tree and my leaves fell from a tree. That was one simple way to classify my objects. But there's more ways we can do it. Can you think of one? How about seeds and not seeds? My rocks aren't seeds, so I'm going to leave them here. My pine cone is a seed. All of them are. So I will put them together. Are leaves seeds? No. So let's move them to the side. How about my branches? My branches aren't seeds, so I'll set them to the left. And what I have are my pods. My pods are seeds. So I have objects that are seeds and objects that are not seeds. Can you think of other ways to classify? How about by size. Can you find objects that are large and objects that are small? My pine cone is definitely a large object, so it will go at the top. My seed pods 
are small, so I will move them toward the bottom. My rock is large. All of my pine cones are large. All of my rocks are large, so let's put them together. And in comparison, my branches and my leaves are small. Do you agree? What's another way we could classify? How about color? To me, my pine cones look to be all the same color. What color is that? Did you say brown? That's what I thought. I'm going to put my brown objects right here. What color do you think my rocks would be? To me, they look a little gray. So let's put my gray objects here. Now what's left? I see some objects that are brown and some objects that look gray. These seed pods right here are darker brown. What color do you think my branches look? They look a little gray. So I'm going to put them by the rocks. And what do you think about those that are left? Are they brown or gray? No, I would say not. So we can keep them separate. We just did it. Another way to classify my objects. I'm all done with my objects from the park, but can you think of another way that you could classify them? Tell your teacher what you think. Since we're done, I'm going to clean up my objects and get ready for our next activity. For another activity I thought we could do, I brought in some blocks that we could classify. Take a look at these blocks and tell your teacher what you see. Did you notice that some blocks have numbers and letters on them? Did you notice the color of my blocks? The first way I thought we could classify it would be to group my alphabet blocks and my non-alphabet blocks. So let's get started. Let's put my alphabet blocks to the left and my non-alphabet blocks to the right. Here's my left. This has no letter. I'll start with all of my alphabet blocks. And let's move all of my other blocks to the right. Get this one. Well, that was easy. Is there another way we could classify? How about by color? I see green, so let's put the green towards the top. Let's move the red toward the bottom. Oh, there's a green. Let's move our orange to the left. And what color is left? Purple. Let's put our purple to the right. We did it. Is there another way we could classify? How about by shape? What is the shape that you see the most of? the squares or the cubes. So let's put all of the cubes together. Let's put them right in the middle. I see green cubes. I see orange cubes. And 
red cubes. What shapes are left? How about rectangles? Let's move our rectangles to the right. This one looks more like a rectangle, so I'll put it there too. And what two shapes are left? My cylinders, so I will keep them together. Just by looking at my shapes, what shape do I have the most of? Cubes is right. Which shape do I have the least of? The cylinders. Is there another way we could classify our blocks? How about blocks with numbers and blocks that don't have numbers? I see the number six. I see another six, a zero, and a seven. How about all of these blocks on the right? Do they have numbers? No. So let's group them all together. We did it. Can you think of another way to classify our blocks? I just thought of one. How about long and short? Do you see any long blocks? I do. Let's move them right in the middle. What do you think about this one? Let's try it long. And when this one lays down, it looks long to me. How about the other blocks? They are definitely shorter. So let's put them all to the right. Good job. Can you tell your teacher another way you could classify my blocks? did it, Mr. Owl. I can't believe we finished our first unit. And the funny thing is, everywhere I go, I see objects that are the same or different. Do you see that too? The next time you go outside, I want you to look for objects that are the same or different, or maybe you can classify them in a new way. I wonder what you will discover. See you next time.